Manti Teo has experienced a roller coaster of high profile moments in his life, a journey that now includes fatherhood and induction into the Polynesian Hall of Fame. In fan Finding Manti, NFL Network senior chief reporter Steve Weish examines Teo's path to redemption and self acceptance as he moves to a new chapter. What's up? What's up, brother? Hey, man. Appreciate yeah. you taking the time to do this. Today. Yeah. The first thing I want to get to is you're going into the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame. Junior Seau, Jesse Sapolu, Troy Polamalu, some of the legends. Has it hit you yet that you're going into, like, some serious rare air type of company? I think when I get there and I see everybody's faces and I see the pictures, right, and, and, I, and I get to be in those rooms, those men that you just mentioned, I looked up to. There are my, my versions of I could do it. And for me to be inducted into the Polynesian Hall of Fame, it's kind of one of those moments where I look back and say, I hope that there's a kid that's looking at me and saying, I could do it because Manti did it. And I think that's so special about the Polynesian Hall of Fame, that's so special about the culture is we all understand that there's somebody somewhere, some kid that's looking at us and that's depending on us to do it so that we could be the hope for them. And so. I think it'll be great. Faith, family, and football, yes, right? The three pillars, yes, right? Yes. Why is that so ingrained into the Polynesian culture? I think it's ingrained because in the Polynesian culture, we understand that we're playing and we're playing and doing things for reasons beyond ourselves. Our choices, our actions, not only reflect my first name, but more importantly, it reflects my last name. My father would always tell me before I went out, he said, remember who you are and remember whose you are. That was the two main things that he would always wow. tell me before I left the house. Remember who you are, Manti. Remember whose you are. It brought me so much joy that when they would go out, on, go out in public, people would come up to them and say, hey, like, are you related to Manti Teo? And for a Polynesian kid, that's, that's, that's the greatest thing ever, right? That we could go out in public and people would recognize our family. The riveting and the emotional end of that Netflix festival, you talked about inspiring people. Mm -hmm. What has been the reaction that you've heard publicly, privately from that special? It's, you know, it's all been positive. It's put me back in the light where I wanted to be, where now I can help. Because prior to that documentary for the past 10 years, the narrative was, oh, that's a guy that got catfished. And so now it put me in a position where I can help people. And like I said, like there are so many people that have experienced so many different trials in their life. And watching the documentary has given them hope that I can do it another day. So you mean to tell me that you watching the documentary just helped you have hope for another day? Imagine that, bro. Like, wow. that's, that's more powerful than any play I could make, any, any trophy I could hold up. Now I have the responsibility of affecting people outside of my culture, outside of my community. And so for all the people out there, just keep going. Even when you can't see your footsteps in front of you, just keep walking, because I promise you, as you keep walking, the sun will come up. You'll start to get your stride, but you gotta keep going. If you stop, no one knows what the future tells for you. Incredible stuff there from Manti and our Steve Weiss. The 2023 Polynesian Bowl airs Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on the NFL Network.